Hello everybody. In this video I write a program that can be used to determine which jobs are using a specific program or report. As input value I have the name of the program, the date and time and as output I get the list of jobs that use this program or report and how often it is called in the system, in sub. Okay. So let's start with the variables. For this program, I need three variables. First, the name of the program, LOE proc type PPT CP proc name. Second, we need a variable for the date, LV date, type EPT, CP STL date, and third, the time, LV time, type TBT CP SDL time. Next, we need a selection screen for the input. And so I write select options. SO Brock for LV Brock. Next, uh, select options SO date for LV date. Third, SO underscore time for LV time. Okay, then start of selection. And now we make the select statement. We make a select on the database table TBTCP. This is the table where the background drop step overview is stored. So I write select drop name, SDL date and SDL time because I only want to know the job name and the date and time when the job is running. So I read this data into table IT job. It's an internal table from TBT CP. where rock name is or in selection field so underscore rock and sdl date in so date and SDL time in SO time. Okay, then I want to sort my internal table by the fields job name, SDL date and SDL time. And after that, I want to delete adjacent duplicates from this internal table. Maybe there are doubled entries. 
and I don't I don't want the I want these entries so I delete it okay next is the output for this I use the class CL demo output and the method write data and here I pass my internal table it underscore job and I want to display an HTML code because it's an internal table and for this I get the HTML code from the output so I write data lv HTML is cl demo output method get and for the display I use the class cl ABAP browser and the method go HTML then exporting I put a title here I write here report and jobs then we need an HTML string and this is our HTML variable LV underscore HTML and next we need a container and here we pick the default screen so I write CL GUI container default screen okay at the end we write a space okay so let's uh, make the pretty print and check the code activate okay looks good then run the code okay now uh, we need a, a program in my case i'm on a fiori system and every time if we change the content of the sub ui 5 ABAP repository we have to recalculate the index and for this we have a program it's called ui5 app index calculate and now i want to know in which jobs this program is used and how often so i write slash ui5 slash app index calculate i pick the current day today and time it's okay then i run my report and we see a result it's the name of the job so we have here a job name and we see this job runs every 15 minutes in the system and let's scroll down and here we have another job and this job is also uh, running but only every hour and this job uses also this uh, UL5 index calculate report or program okay so what do i know now i know which jobs are using my calculate program and yes that is a nice overview and okay that was it already i hope you like this video if this so i would be happy if you subscribe my channel if you want please leave a comment uh, yes, and I uh, hope we see us again in some of my next videos. Thank you and goodbye.